Welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Stir Emil or Stubborn Emil. It's the Tier 7 German tank destroyer. It's located on the south spawn of Pearl River and it's under the command of Tiger Shark TR. Game started. Well, this is the terrible tank destroyer. Uh, I say that because, um, well, a lot of people find it very difficult to play because you only get, well, 16 rounds, or 15 rounds, sorry, in total in this tank destroyer. So you have to make the best use of those 15 rounds if you're going to pick the Top Gun, which is the 128mm, capable of 490 Alpha. Now he's already been told to uh, fall back by the Leo. But uh, no, he's decided he's going to go on and fight in this area. You can see he's got two marks of excellence on the barrel already. And I think that he does know how to handle this tank destroyer. It's got really good gun depression, 15 degrees of gun depression. But it's based on the Henschel VK301H hull that they actually built in testing. But it was rejected as a heavy tank. So they converted a heavy tank into a tank destroyer. So it's very slow, 25 kilometers an hour forwards, fit 12 in reverse, but it does have a very, very big gun, which is capable of doing a lot of damage to the enemy. It also has a long reload as well, 13.23 seconds is the reload time. Now, he's able to get shots on the enemy from this position. Let's hope nobody comes up behind him. Well, he's been spotted by someone. And I think that someone happens to be from a different direction, so that's why he quickly pulled back. He's going to give it another go. It might be the IS-2. No, it could be these guys. Okay. Nice hit into the FP-4202. Now, I'd say it's 490 Alpha, so that was a high roll for 554. Moving to cover your flank. Standard reload, 13.23 seconds. He's managed to get it down to 11.71. I must say, a lot of players prefer to play with the 105mm stock gun because you get a lot more ammo and 300 alpha with that gun. See that E75 TS is pushing the wreck ahead of him for extra cover. But it's not going to help him. Okay, we've got a T29 turned up behind the E75 now. That would make a nice target. Oh, good hit there, but didn't pen him. And oh yeah, the T29's looking over here. I think the T29 realizes how much danger he's in. And a good high roll there on the IS, who's showing his bottom to us, and he's now died. Now, can we get this TS? That's better. Another high roll. For, oh, it's a low roll, actually. 401, that one. But now let's put a round into that uh, T29. Oh, side on the uh, E75. He can't ignore that. In fact, he's now running short on ammunition. He's down to just seven rounds left. Remember, it's only 15 rounds in total. So you need to make every round count. Oh, beautiful shot. Only a small amount of that Wizzy 131 showing, but he still put a round it for him. And he might be able to finish him off if he gets a high roll or reasonable roll. Oh, no, it hit the rock. Unfortunately, that was a wasted round, but there's more enemies to deal with. Let's get that T29. It got the rear of him, and it's a low roll for 478. Potentially, he's got the high caliber. He's now got enemy tanks coming up behind him, so he has to look at those two. Not fully dialed in yet. He might be able to get around on that Tiger. That's a stock Tiger, that, that one, that Tiger one. And recognize the turret. Okay, he needs to turn a bit. That's it. Here he comes, stop Tiger. Nice! 
454 low roll but if a round comes back this way now this is where the gun depression becomes in really useful and that SU-101 up there only has three degrees of gun depression so he's not really going to be able to do the same in return but the Tiger 1 managed to get a round in that Caro's in a lot of trouble he's telling the Caro to pull back he's now facing two enemies at the same time and he's died that was that was sad really because it, it was obvious that he was going to die facing two at the same time you're going to be in a crossfire or waiting for that Tiger 1 to appear only two rounds left oh and he gets a lovely hit into the Tiger 1 but it's a low roll and now all he's got left is an HE round. This is why you see on the, the 105 millimeter gun you get 60 rounds so you can keep going for a long time. He's decided to push forward and he fires his HE round. Now he's got no ammunition left at all. He's out of ammo. All he can do is well sit and wait for it because he is going to die. The Tiger 1's going to tear him to pieces no ammo all you can do is raise your gun you can't even ram with this tank because it's got nothing oh the tiger one dies he's raised his gun it. he said thank you to the su-130 pm all he can do now is really act as bait we're capping at the other end so i don't think this game's going to be over um last very much longer he is taking a big risk moving forward. The Super Hellcats and the SU-101 are desperately fighting out against the T-43. He's going to try and act as a distraction, I think. There's the SU-101. And that's it. The game's over. They've won. And he's still alive. I thought he was going to have to bend over and kiss the, uh, <laughs> kiss the world goodbye. But no, he didn't have to. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And here's the end of battle stats for Tiger Shark TR in the Stura Emil. He managed to get an ace tanker in that game. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get six. He got a five for effect for doing more damage in the hit points for his own vehicle. And he also got a confederate fitting more of the enemy than anyone else in his team. And the high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game overall. In fact, I seem to recall that uh, only two of his shots didn't actually do any damage and those were the ones that he fired at the Wizzy 131 and then the HE round which he fired at the end at the Tiger 1 but it just missed and did no damage at all. I, I think really you're better off when you've got an HE round like that to save it until the guy gets in plain sight of you and just see the whites of his eyes and then blast him right in the face at the last moment with one HE rounds and see if you can do maximum damage. But it's a very good game considering you only get 15 rounds of ammunition. He made the best use of the ammo that he did have and doing the amount of damage he did. Let's have a look at the team score and see where he stood. 4,832 hit points. Very good indeed. The next high scorer was the IS-6 on his team with 2,990. And after that, it was the E-75 TS on the enemy team with 2,407. That was the one he kept trying to hit. And I think one of his rounds didn't go through on that guy. But um, um, so that was one of the shots that actually didn't do any damage. But uh, the other shots did do damage to that tank. He also, well, when it came to kills, he didn't get any kills in the game, which puts him way down the table. The high score is being everyone who got two kills, and you can see there's quite a lot of them, so I won't name them. But uh, when it came to base XP, yes, he's right at the top. Tiger Shark got the highest base XP, 1,266. 1,140 went to the Object 252 Defender, and 947 went to the IS-6 on his team. He fired 15 rounds in that game. All of his ammo, 12 direct hits, 10 penetrations on the enemy. So two, two thirds of his shells actually did some damage to the enemy. And unfortunately, five of them didn't. But he did get uh, hits um, on... The, so it was three shells actually missed the target. I, I was wrong. I thought it was only two. But uh, 4,832 hit points, of which 4,412 were at more than 300 meters. So you can see the vast majority of the damage was at very long range. 
Four hits received, three penetrations, one non-penetration. That's the one thing about the story mill. It's got very poor armor, 15 millimeters at the front, 30 at the sides and the rear. Uh, if anything touches it, it's gonna go straight through. So you have to try and avoid damage if you can. And that's where the gun depression comes in really handy because with 15 degrees of gun depression, you can poke up in some places where the enemy doesn't expect you to be and uh, get maximum damage and then pull back down below the, uh, the ground below the, the ridge line before they can do anything to hurt you. He also blocked damage of 220 hit points when one of the rounds didn't penetrate him. Six enemy vehicles were damaged, none were killed, and 996 hit points of damage assistance. On a free player count, he earned 40,265 credits, and after repair, ammunition, respawn, and consumables took away 17,493 credits. He picked up 1,266 base XP, times two for the first victory, took away 2,532 experience points altogether. Not bad for a 6 minutes and 46 second game. I really thought that he was actually going to die in this game because after he ran out of ammunition. This is one of the reasons why if you do get a stirring mill, it's sometimes better to play it with the stop gun all the way through until you finally complete your grind and get to the next level to pick up the next tank destroyer. Uh, the reason being obviously those 15 rounds, it really does handicap you on what you can do. So fantastic display by Tiger Shark to use the 128 millimeter and to actually get so much damage. Um, the the real stirring mill, well, there was two of them. They were experimentals. Uh, one of them was lost in combat. The other one was captured by the Soviets and is now at the Kubinka Tank Museum in Moscow. And it was actually captured at Stalingrad with the 6th Army. And alongside it, at the same time that was also captured, was the Dikamax, because both the uh, Sturmil and the Dikamax were being tested in the same area. The, um, the Sturmil and the Dikamax, both the ones that were actually found both had a huge number of rings on them so they were um kill rings so they'd obviously been in heavy use and they were very successful but the germans weren't happy with them and they weren't mass produced at all so they stuck with the nashorn and all the other tank destroyers that they actually uh, built but uh it's an interesting machine uh, difficult to play Probably better with the 105mm because you get more ammo, more chance to do more damage to the enemy. Uh, but it's interesting to see if you can play it with the 128mm and do as well as Tiger Shark did in this game. And well, he certainly did very well indeed. So congratulations to Tiger Shark on your ace tanker. Uh, as he said, no ammo left. All you can do at that point, as I said, is raise your gun and wait for it to the inevitable end because you can't run away because it's just too slow and and you can't ram the enemy because it's too slow <laughs> so uh, all you can do is uh, as i said grip your uh, bend over grip your ankles and kiss the world goodbye i hope you enjoyed that replay if you did please give this video a like do subscribe to our channel leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm and thank you for watching